Good morning, folks. As a hurricane is pounding Ireland, all we can do is wait for the photos and reports. Meanwhile, we've got news on a lot of fronts today and a quick correction from yesterday's news. But first, is this thing calm and quiet or what? We have no sunspots, solar flares, or large CMEs, and instead it's just the coronal holes. Coming in from the left, you might spot some plasma filaments as well, indeed making their way to center disk, so the eruption watch on our star will elevate slightly today. Luckily, the solar wind is finally dying down. This is after almost a full week of elevated intensity and geomagnetic storm activity, which should also be ready to fade out now. Could have a reverberation, but hopefully that's all, as the next streams can't be far behind with their genesis facing Earth now. Lithospheric alert peaks until then, especially after the phi angle begins to shift. Folks, a story that will unquestionably go under the radar, but it shouldn't. They found relativistic electrons in low Earth orbit, which was hypothetically predicted, but they only found them in the 4 through 6 L shells, which puts them at high latitude, closer to the ground, and which means that the South Atlantic Anomaly satellite upsets cannot be due exclusively to relativistic electrons, a good elimination of a possibility. We also have a story on sugar and cancer. When we step into that world, we throw haymakers, and the mechanism of cancer fueling we identified a few years ago is exactly, exactly how it works. I implore you to watch a full video on some vital food topics in our community. It is listed below, but the sugar part itself, let's go ahead and rewatch that now. Once again, that full video can be found in today's list of links. Last night, we released a video of the first year statistics for earthquake forecasting. We highly recommend you check that one out. And apparently, even though we can predict earthquakes, a 6 looked like a 5 to my eyes at 4 a.m. four days ago. And yesterday, I mistakenly said the ESO announcement was happening when, in fact, it is today. I'm sorry. No such errors in my wife's first children's book, ages 2 and up. And whether it is a kid's book, our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, or Tickets to Observing the Frontier 2018, it's all found at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps, null school run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow. 
right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.